Y'all know I always got a good story. Y'all know I always got a good story. And what is it about? Work. Let me tell y'all what time it is. It is all of maybe 1030. Okay. And I'm going to start with this. I woke up. Seven something in the morning. Got showered. Got dressed. I even had my lunch. Okay. Green juice. Ready for fucking work. I done took my vitamins. All in things. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Tell me why I get in my Uber. Goes to the client house. Standing outside. I got all of the things. You know, we got to take our shoes off when we get in the motherfucker. I got my slippers in my little, my little tote bag. Got my pocketbook in one hand. I got my green juice in the other. My lunch bag like this. My coat on. I am still trying to be cute. And I'm buzzing the fuck out of their bell. I hear something as if somebody was coming to the door. And then I heard something as if they changed their motherfucking mind. Stood out there for 15, 20 minutes. I started knocking. Oh boy, oh girl, neither one of them came out. I said, oh, this got to be some bullshit. I went to the market last night to make sure I had all of the things because I'm about to get my little fitness shit in. I got all of the things packed in my little lunch. Little honey calorie snacks. All that little bullshit, little sandwiches, little small ones, so I don't eat too much. Yeah, I'm on a new journey, and I'm like, okay, I'm finally in the flow of things. Tell me why the bitch ain't never come out. I had to go back home. To be quite honest, I never really enjoy editing these type of videos because I say shit that I really got to take out because I, I start talking real, real gully. These motherfuckers got me fucked up. So I told y'all, it is home care. I care for an elderly woman throughout the week. Over the past several months, it has been different clients. I finally landed a client that is consistent. Consistent work, consistent schedule, a, a better flow of income, a more surefied way of understanding okay this is what i'm going to be you know paid throughout the month so this lady is all of 76 years old maybe 77 78 she's not really that old i if i even knew what has her bed bound i would tell you but i really don't even know and i, I really couldn't tell you that's what i'm what i meant to say i really can't tell you guys but <laughs> her parents still live in a home. So if she's 70 plus, imagine how old these parents are. Her mother, 95, 96. And her mother's husband, which is not her father, is like in his late 80s. Not as old, really pretty much a spring chicken because he moves around a lot more than the two so first day it wasn't that bad you know prepared little small meals for her she eats no more than one or two pretzels she eats no more than one egg like I said in one of my clips and if you give her like a a sandwich she might eat like a half and it takes her about 30 or 40 minutes to even eat that another thing is i have to change her now it's a very humbling type of job for me because i've never done this type of work so you know just ma maneuvering a human being is hard when they are unable to move their limbs and their legs and stuff like that they're heavy so you have to turn them a certain way. You have to position items a certain way. And without the training, because I haven't had any training, it gets more and more interesting. 
So later it leads into, of course, me changing her, feeding her, washing her clothes and stuff like that. In one clip, I'm showing uh pretty in one clip i'm explaining how this lady is walking me through her home in her basement to wash her daughter's clothing which is not a problem but basements freak me out and i did say hey basements freak me out but um i'm gonna try to do this to the best of my ability it was some tug and pull because she had her husband's clothing in there older people don't change their clothes as much if you don't know um they're good for wearing the same pair of pants for a couple days like they'll, they'll get a few wears out of it before they wash their clothes so for the most part i kept finding this this man's drawers and underwear intertwined in in his daughter's linen his stepdaughter's linen and i say that for a reason i'll get to that in a minute so i'm like okay good like it's not even a thing like fuck it right i said um but i'm not washing old boy jaws and i had to tell her you know the wife did she said oh it shouldn't be none of his drawers in here like it's just it's just your client's things and she said she said the name but i'm just gonna say client when i say client i'm talking about my client when i say the wife i'm talking about her mother and when i say the husband i'm talking about her stepfather so she's like i wish shouldn't have been none of his stuff in there or whatever and she starts going through it and she'll take out like one of few pieces and put it somewhere else but whomever put it there knew where he was putting it. He he knew what he was doing. So I said, okay, even though he's like a silent type of uh, kind of agitator to the bullshit. He, yeah, he's really part of the bullshit too. Even though it, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it, we'll get to that too. So I'm like, um, no, I'm just supposed to do the client's pieces. You know, tidy up her area. Like, that's really it. We have to be on that understanding. And... Um, let's keep in mind, I don't like being in confined places. I don't like being in the basement. So the faster we can get this done, the better. Of course, she wants to give me like this lesson on how to do laundry. And I'm like, I don't need a lesson on how to do laundry. But of course, people have their way of doing things. And she uses like this little shout it out to hit the spots and stains and then she puts it in with the little detergent and stuff i said you know what that, that concept is kind of cute i might have to you know yeah, i might try that you know but however get the fuck out the way so i can get the shit done so i can get out of this cold ass basement so finally she staggers her way back up the steps honestly when i went down the steps i wound up bumping my head yes i did i just hit my damn head jesus christ I just hit my head. <laughs> so at this point, basement is too confined with things. I'm freaked out by being in the basement, number one. I'm in the stranger's home, number two. This is really not my area. Like, I'm literally freaked the fuck out. And I just hit my head, and she completely didn't give a fuck. My whole thing is, I'm finding pieces of clothing from people other than my clients. I'm not here to wash all of y'all clothes. I'm here just for the client. And it wasn't even for play. I really bumped the fuck out of my head. Not knowing how low the beams and stuff sit and all this shit. It's just awkward. In the middle of that, my client is in need of things like she wants food i actually i remember i had gave her some food and i i hadn't finished feeding it to her This one. 
You gotta check it every two seconds so it won't stick to the bowl. And you put a little bit of olive oil and that's it. Put it under your chin just in case some food drops. She's nice. What's she like? She's like or bad. I'm obsessed with her. She's really she I never met her. Is what? I met her best of all. Yes. She's been so good. Yes, I love it. She's so wonderful. She's so supportive. She's an incredible boss, a beautiful friend. She actually like bought tickets and sent silver and silver. We'll get you the benefit. Call us right now. One eight hundred nine four silver. I have to mainly feed her, you know, plate to mouth everything because she has a problem with lifting her hands up and, you know, just the mobility and stuff. So she's not able to do it. But these are the things that her mother is not seeing me do. So in her mind, she thinks she has to find shit for me to do. Not thinking, oh, I was just in the middle of feeding your daughter, the one, the, the client, you know. And you got your husband drawers all mixed up in this shit. You, you know what's titty. So I'm like, oh, okay. So now I'm washing the clothes. So I done folded them, washed them. It took about maybe an hour or some change. And I said, I'm just going to bang it out. And I, and I did. And then she turns and say, well, your job description says that you do light housekeeping. And I said, mm-hmm. Now, I never got sassy. All the sass that you see me talking, da, 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 it, I'm very humble. I'm very respectful to my elders. Very. to the, I'm very loyal to, to a fault, honestly. So, she said, it says that you do house, like housekeeping. I said, yes, ma'am, it does. It does. And I'm, I'm, I'm sweet as pie. Hump to, you know, because I really just want to say this is, I can feel it going, going left. She says, can you vacuum the hallway and all of the rugs and out, um, out, out, you know, they had like this little Persian rug that was really big. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, um, okay. Then she said, can you wipe down all the stainless steel because, you know, we use a special cleaner Suddenly she used a special cleaner, but I'm telling you, when I first got there, my first shift, it was all in disarray. When I say trash was overflowing, dishes was in the sink, I wipe mine down at night, so, and I don't use no special cleaner. I just wipe it down, <laughs> and it comes out fine. However, she like, we use something special. I said, okay, so I'm listening to this list and it gets greater. So she has like this countertop that covers her whole entire kitchen. It's not just the sink. It wraps around the sink, the stove, and the kind of side part of the kitchen. She said, yeah, and I have this special granite top. Mind you, this is a 96-year-old woman telling me what to do. 
basically. So I'm like, okay. So she was like, and I have this special granite top or whatever. And um, I have this special cleaner and you have to do it a certain way. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm looking at the countertop. I can tell when a home is maintenance every day. I can tell. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be smart. My grandmother's house, impeccable impeccable she wipes down every corner of her apartment of her home my grandmother you can run your finger across something and you don't no dust no dirt no grime and trash overflowing never you would never see anything like that in her home so i'm just like i'm looking at this home which is you can tell maybe give or take maybe even 15 years ago i'm not even gonna go that far back maybe it was a constant maintenance but now you can just see where they just in the routine they wipe off what's necessary and they go ahead about their business so for her to come at me like now this is her new everyday thing i'm like okay so she pulls out the little necessaries and she pulls off a few paper towels and she just want me to go to town so I said, okay. So finally she walks off. I'm like, I don't like to be micromanaged. So I'm glad she walked the fuck off. So now I got the laundry going. I got her daughter really still waiting for me to keep feeding her, which I did keep going in there, giving her a few bites because it takes her a long time. Like she has a hard time swallowing and shit. So I said, okay, cool. Now I'm vacuuming. I'm wiping down countertops. I'm doing all that. I'm like, this, this remind me of my old job when I did housekeeping and just housekeeping. This is a whole nother job, right? So now I'm doing the shit that the mother wants me to do. And now I'm tending to the client. And now the husband is chatty fucking patty. Like he can't stop coming in for short little conversations, small talk, the weather, anything. Like he just want to talk to me. And I'm just like, bruh, I don't want to talk to you about a goddamn thing. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to get this shit done. Like, it ain't even about just going back to sitting down. It's just, literally, I just don't even, like, I can't even gather how I got here. Like, it's not even about, like, I know I got up. I know I got in the Uber. I know I came. But I can't gather how I got to this point in my life where I'm doing this shit. And I got a whole degree. Like, I, I, I done studied something completely outside of this. And, like, it, no matter how much I humble myself, it seems like people keep trying me. And now you want to talk. And, and now I can't channel the difference. Like, everything is just all over. I'm scared of brain. Back, back up. Mm -hmm. So, every so often I gave the hint that I didn't want to talk. And he would walk off. So, the next day, um, now this lady, she she's weird. Like, she barely engaged. I don't think I really seen her come out the room over so much. But she did ask me when I when I did come in the following shift, like, oh, cause 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 even though she's telling me to do stuff, she has a slight memory lapse of what she asked me beforehand. So she's like, Oh, the company say that you do like housekeeping, right? I mean, I couldn't make this shit up. It was like a record. The company say that you do like housekeeping, right? And I'm like, yeah. And then she goes back to mentioning the vacuum in the other floor. I said, okay, so you want your floor vacuumed every day. Because I'm more of a routine person. And I, I'm telling y'all all this shit for a reason. I'm more of a routine person. You want your floor vacuumed? You want your countertops wiped down with your special little shit? You want your stainless steel wiped down and you still want me to do all the stuff for your daughter? Wash her clothes, change her, give her little uh bed baths and stuff like that. Brush her teeth, do her hair, turn her tv on turn her over every now and again change her linen and all that shit and come in here and do extra shit for you you want all of that okay i just need to know the routine because i i get an agitation when somebody is sitting here saying oh do this do that do this do that mid midday like it just had me tugging and pulling i don't like that shit tell me what to do so i can know my routine so i can know something so i can just have a gauge on something a peace of mind period even though I'm pretty sure 
this ain't my job description to be doing all this shit. Especially if your daughter is bed bound in a room and you know, I'm, I am supposed to tend to her area, her things, her needs. But when it comes to outside of that room, you have an able husband that is considerably younger than you young whippersnapper constantly in and out of the house you know doing all of the things i'm pretty sure this is some, some of the things that he can pick up you know what he goes to say somewhere in this small talk he goes to say well you know such and such doesn't like me and he's talking about my client i said well aren't you her stepfather something like just turn me off about that i don't know if it's more so she doesn't like him or he doesn't like her but i said at this point the lady is almost mute she can only say but so many things she can't get out of the bed she couldn't tussle with you if she wanted to why are you telling me that she don't like you again and that just make me think that family feuds and disagreements, it don't matter how old you are, petty shit really still fucking lingers. And it took me back to a little bit of shit in my childhood where I can't imagine me being 70 plus and my stepfather still saying, oh, you know, she don't like me. Or you know, we don't get along. And, and this this used to be a thing, you know, when I was a kid, my, my mother's husband, ugh. But I couldn't imagine nobody sitting there, damn near over my deathbed. You know what I mean? Like, God forbid, you ain't talking about no shit like that. And I'm in here sickly going through all the things. That's not even a, a, a factor now. You on the winning side of things. You standing here chatty fucking patty. She laying in her bed, can't even fucking move if she wanted to. Come on now. I said, oh, okay. So after that, I really didn't want to talk to him. Cut to the chase. The following morning, he's in the kitchen and he's whipping up all the things. <laughs> okay. He just chefing it up. He got bacon smelling galore. And I don't know if I like the smell or not because y'all know I stopped eating meat so long ago. He got bacon smelling. It's just fuming up the place. He got pancakes flipping coffee going all this stuff he done use pots pans cups forks knives butter milk flour bacon cheese eggs all the shit right right so mind you i told you my client has a hard time eating and swallowing so anything that she eats really can be only half of your fist palm or whatever she cannot eat that much shit so it would have been wrong for him to cook all this stuff and not prepare something for her, right? So instead of him saying, oh, I'll allow you to prepare something for her or ask her at least what she likes because she refuses almost everything. He makes a pancake. The pancake was really no bigger than this. No bigger. And he set it on almost like a little sauce plate, okay? Okay. Put a galore amount of syrup, cut it up in little tiny pieces, and that was her breakfast. But he he and his wife had eggs, bacon, pancakes, orange juice, coffee with cream, all the shit. So here come this lady again after I fed her daughter this one pancake on this one plate with this one fork and this one knife. Um... Oh, yeah, your job says you do light housekeeping, right? What's going on? What's up? Oh, well, maybe you can clean the dishes in the kitchen. After this man has stood up in his little old t-shirt and his little dockers and done cooked all this bullshit and got all this shit scattered around. Now that y'all sitting back there eating and watching TV and living in a lap of luxury, you gonna ask me to wash some dishes up after y'all? I said, okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to call the company. We're gonna have to have a talk, but I'm more like low-key. Because, like I said, I'm in somebody else's house. It gets weird. You know what I mean? You don't know if you'll make it out there, motherfucker. Another thing. If you're familiar with any bit of K&A, 
um, the Spanish part of Philadelphia, where the front of their households have gates going across the windows, gates going across their porch, locks on that bitch, like you can't get in, you can't get out type of thing. This is what's going on at this dude house. So all I can imagine is me saying something and it go left and I want to storm off and I can't get out. Because he got this porch, this enclosed porch gated off and locked up. So he got the gate locked, the indoor, the, the actual door to get into the house locked, the vestibule locked, the, 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 the door to the, the, the apartment locked. Yeah, that part. So, I'm like, okay, I'll call the company when I get home. And But I kept pushing it off because I want to give it a benef the benefit of the doubt because these are our people. Like, if it's a thing I prefer, I would prefer to just service my people because, damn, they my people. You know what I mean? <sighs> this motherfucker. So, she asked me to wash these dishes up. I said, okay. I got a dishwasher here. I I don't like washing dishes. I'll scrub a little pan out, get all the little the little tough shit out. I'll still put it in this dishwasher because that's how much I don't like washing dishes. Like I done became this soft girl. So I'm like, I'm not mad because I'm just not mad. So I'm like, okay, do y'all dishwasher work? Their dishwasher didn't work. We just want to maul over that. So I'm in there, I wash the whole dishes. I'm scrubbing pots. I'm scrubbing pans, cast iron pans, um, washing off umpteen plates, umpteen forks, umpteen knives, coffee mugs galore. I'm doing the fucking most. I'm putting out the trash, washing the clothes. I'm fluffing, fluffing shit, you know, making her doing everything. I'm, I'm most high skin. At this, you, at this point, you can call me Kizzy fucking May because at this point, I feel like. I'm doing the most. And I'm not only taking care of one senior now, I'm taking care of three. I don't know whether to complain or not because I just got this permanent thing. You know, I don't want to mess up my blessings. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't want to mess it up at all. But I don't want to be walked over neither. So today... When I got up, so a whole new day, I said, fuck it. I'm a, I'm a vacuum. I'm going to wash these motherfuckers' uh, dishes. I'm going to still feed their daughter. I'm going to pamper her and do all the things for her and clip her fingernails because she asked me to do that too. Do all the bullshit, you know, for her because she's not able. Like, anything she need, I'll do. Anything they need at this point, I'll do. Because I need to stay employed, right? That's that's the motive that I'm trying to get in my mind. But I have to remember, I'm not doing anything to slight these projects and these these employers or anything. It's it's the neglect that's there already. And I come in, and now I'm just the sound and all of the reason. I don't always like to be the sound and all of the reason because. It fucks up the flow of the money. And I don't want to fuck up the bag. I guess there today. I got all my shit with me. I'm ready. I'm knocking on the door. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm ringing the bell. And I'm looking through the gate. And I'm like, well, when is they going to come to the door? Any other time, old boy is coming to the door in his docker shorts and his little t-shirt blouse tucked in the shirt with, you know, a little belt undone because he, I guess he slept in these damn dockers. And then now, I don't see this motherfucker. And sometimes she comes to the door. I don't see her. I said, oh, y'all got me fucked up. Because one thing you could have did, you could have called the company and said, you don't want to have any service anymore because you're not feeling whatever it is. Something. I'm standing out in the cold. It's raining. It starts drizzling outside. I done got up 7 o'clock in the morning excited about my day. Ready to take in your bullshit and your negativity. 
And now all of a sudden you sitting here talking about some fucking, you ain't even answering, bitch. You're not answering your phone. You not, I'm, you know, old school, if the DM, if your bell, if you can't hear your bell, old school, you get the knocking on the window. Now the window, this, you can't hear that shit, but the window, when I knock on a window, an old school window, they, this is an older home. They had the windows for a hot minute. You knock on them old windows, it, it feel like you damn near about to break that bitch. You hear me knocking on this motherfucking window. Like, don't get it fucked up. I was born in the damn 80s, bitch. I know y'all hear me knocking on this motherfucking fucking window. Answer this shit. And then I'm sitting here, I'm giving it all the grace because I'm like, for real, for real I could have left it at the bell. Like, I don't want to be in this motherfucker. But I'm like, nah, I got bills. I'm going to tap on this motherfucking window. And then it dawned on me after like 10 minutes or so. I said, this motherfucker really ain't going to come to the door. So I called the company and I hit the lid. Like, I'm like, yo, if, if listen, I said, it's cold outside. I don't feel like saying, she said, oh, I know it's cold outside. I was out there today. Keep playing with me. Keep playing with me. It's brewing. It's brewing. You got it. You got it hot. You got it hot. Keep playing with me. <laughs> so I'm like, listen. I'm about to go home. I done paid for an Uber to get out here. And I got to pay for an Uber to get back home. Y'all going to pay me something. And I said, and I'm going to call you when I get in the house. Because we need to have a whole talk. So I let them know everything. So, other than the drawers and the laundry, they knew that these people was on some shit. And she said it. And this is not the first fucking time. Remember the itchy couch shit? Remember the itchy couch? They told me shit about the itchy couch. How this ain't the first person to complain about the itchy couch house. <laughs> so, I'm like, oh, okay. So, why y'all keep sending me for the okie doke? That's my, that, that's my beef. So this is the second time y'all sent me for the okie doke. The third time, y'all gonna have me come up to that fucking office. If y'all stop fucking playing with me and give me somebody with some integrity, okay? With some sense. With some respect. The fuck? I don't know. I talked to my grandma today about it. And my grandma was like, Makaya, I'm not trying to be funny, but I really don't think that this is the type of work that, that's for you. We already know. I'm trying to get everything in gears for, you know, for my solo projects, for my shit. But until that shit gets to that point this year, until that project gets to that finish point, you know, till everything pops off this year, I really need things to work out money-wise. I might have to do, I, I, maybe I've already done it. You know, I don't know. I felt like I had to do this, this little get it out the mud session, but I done got it out the mud almost 300 times within the past five years. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I had, to, I had to just call God and say, you know what? Before I even did this, I said, God, I need you to figure this out because this stuff right here keep happening. And it, it confirms that I'm not crazy later down the line, though. When I talk to management, da, 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 da. no, y'all could have told me ahead of time, hey, ahead of time, these people is a piece of work. Oftentimes, you won't have to put them in their place in their own home. I don't want to put people in their place in their own home. That's disrespectful. Oftentimes, oh boy, it's going to sneak a couple pairs of drawers in, the, in that linen. Oftentimes, that lady is going to ask you to wipe down every motherfucking thing in their house oftentimes and 
And when she does, you're going to have to tell her, fuck no. No, I'm not going to tell that lady that. Like, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> like, this is enough character building. I, the character is here. <laughs> I don't need any more character building situations. I don't. Sorry, not sorry. I am the character. This is me. Sheesh. Like, golly. Golly. Let me go.